Yo, what's going on guys? It's Dill the Legends here. And in this video today, we are actually going to be photo editing. Now, this one a um some guy uh, named Trevor, shout out to him photo credits. They were vaping. Now, I do not condone that. Vaping is bad for your lungs, people, and all you underage people don't do that. It's it's not cool. But this photo looks amazing and I can't wait to edit it because the way they set it up it's going to be really easy for me to edit and I have so many ideas what I can do. So we're just going to open up that image and this is kind of going to be a tutorial on how I did my last video because I did a time lapse. Now this video might be a little bit longer but I'm going to try speeding it up in between. So yeah. Um, should have sped it up there, but this is the photo. Now it looks really, really cool. Uh, vaping isn't cool again, guys. Uh, I'm not a vapor or anything like that. So, yeah, uh, I don't, I don't want y'all to get that impression. But this is a really cool photo, um, just with clouds or anything with water, cloud smoke. That looks really cool to edit. And I chose to do this because someone sent me it, and I was like, why not? So what we're going to do, and I'm going to speed this part up, is we're going to actually like trim out the background here that doesn't really look that great. Now it kind of will get tricky here with this smoke because um, it's not like super high def quality, so I don't know how I'll work around that. I'm thinking about just opening what that looks like a door there. I'm thinking about opening that up and maybe looking like it's going into some other dimension that will look really cool. So yeah, I'll see y'all guys once I'm done with that. Alright guys, so we are back and that will probably take the longest trimming anything out. Now, we will want to smoothen the edges here a little bit because it's kind of looking really edgy right there. Ha, <laughs> edgy, get it guys. But, um, let's do this. Now, if you are trying to do this, this is using Paint.net by the way, if you are just wondering. Uh, if anyone's saying it down in the comments, hopefully you listened here. But yeah, I'm using Paint.net. If you're using that, you're really going to want to learn most of the shortcuts. Now, I only know like zooming and stuff. And I recently found out from a friend, shift and scroll, you can do it sideways. So I don't have to like go in and out like this. It kind of gets annoying. But yeah, you want to learn that. And I'm kind of learning how to uh, do stuff like this because you'll end up using the key M a lot. And if you are just now starting this and stuff, really good to get in that habit because I'm having to learn now. I've been doing this for like two years. So now what we're going to do now here over on my other monitor, I'm looking for something where it looks like you're going to some other dimension. So what I'm going to look up is door frame other dimension. That's literally all I'm doing. So door frame other dimension because Google usually has everything you need and now this is photo editing but going with graphic design and stuff you're you really need to uh, look around on Google you're gonna use a lot of graphics now make sure you're not like using something that's copyrighted and make sure you have permission I usually don't but you don't want to steal someone else's artwork so other dimension and let's go door frame PNG you want to look up PNG or transparent at the end so that um, you can get like the right photo so um, right now you are just staring at something boring but I'm over here looking at this I'm sorry 
so put door frame over here okay so we got this it's not a PNG oh man but we can move this oops I messed up right oh that kind of worked out there for a second we're gonna move this make sure we don't have that chopped off use magic wand tool chop that out looking nice and neat and we're gonna want this to go behind actually minimize it a little bit Ooh, that's already looking nice people uh, so we've got like a little nice hole in this guy's wall maybe tilt this over a little bit and there we go we have a nice looking thingy in their wall and now what we want is a picture of some other dimension the first image that showed up is just beautiful now if you're doing this you probably don't want to just grab the first image you see because most likely it's a very popular image like a lot of people make this mistake whenever they're looking up galaxy or nebula pictures so yeah but I got a really nice looking one and I'm pretty sure not that many people have seen this because I would have seen it by now but look at that we see nice little dimension this looks cool so yeah that that's already looking pretty aesthetic right there we've got that going for us now what we're going to want to do is adjust the hue and saturation we want this cloud or tornado effect he did here with the vapor um, to really stand out so what I'm gonna show you guys is go over here and we are going to try selecting all the white now this can usually go wrong in so many ways here it's going pretty well so far it's kind of captured this wall so what you want to do here is kind of grab this color make a little line right here so it's no longer connected and there we go so maybe that will work maybe it will no clue it's looking like it made it kind of worse oh that's bad <laughs> hey there we go so we've already got we've got some of the clouds out but we can adjust that later now what we do is we go down here you can use hue and saturation uh, it's the same thing as hue and saturation plus I don't know what the difference is but yeah just for the sake of this so you don't have to install any weird plugins uh, there you go but look at that cool cloud I'm thinking about making this purple and you're going to really want to adjust the hue and saturation just the saturation guys um, it looks a lot cooler if you do that maybe make this cyan that would look really cool that looks dope guys tell me if that doesn't look dope now it looks all rigid and stuff and you're like Dylan this looks ugly what are you talking about well we're not done just yet so we're gonna select this copy it up here do that go to effects and now you're gonna see I have a lot of stuff but that's because I have plugins all you're gonna have to do is go to object and feather now I don't know I've seen some people and I think everyone has feather but you can see how it's kind of matching it now and that's what we want it kind of gets foggy at the edges and it smooths it all out somehow I don't know it's just crazy and it's awesome so effect this takes a little bit for me I guess we could just keep going control F that's why you need to know your shortcuts guys but just spam that baby right there oh there we go we've got a nice looking it kind of looks like water now um, like a um I don't know what those are called the water tornadoes but that's a really cool effect what's going on here now all we see is just this bland background we see like a cool little dimension we see like this really cool tornado going but what's up with this wall this wall is just looking I no offense Trevor this wall is not looking that great so what we're gonna do is go over here we're gonna adjust that um, make his room look a little bit cooler see we don't want to adjust that so what I do is I go over here and do that and you can 
control so control and copy that now copy you're gonna make a new layer and you want it to obviously be on top of this uh, or below it actually would be a lot better now right here we're going to have to select so just for the sake of this so y'all can see it better we see this we want to copy all of it we've got that going for us we don't want his arm in there we we don't want that guys so we got that we don't want his arm in there we don't want this tiny speck Ooh. Ooh. there we go guys uh, uh, there y'all go so let's do that now we have that selected we go over here to brightness and contrast now guys this is supposed to look kind of trippy so look we've got like a white wall going and then we have that background there and since I'm kind of lazy I don't want to mess with that I'm probably not gonna make it go white though that would look really cool and if y'all have a lot of time on your hands y'all should probably go for that but that looks really cool there so I'm just gonna do that maybe change the hue and saturation which usually looks nice look looking like spongebob's house or something there that looks really cool um you could change that that up we that looks aesthetic -y enough that looks cool that's looking cool so now we got this cool little whirlpool this is supposed to look kind of bad but it looks good so the point in this light art style this vapor wavy aesthetic art style is it's not supposed to look just amazing like for example that background there it's supposed to kind of look all messed up kind of glitch and that's kind of what I'm going for so I don't know maybe I should feather it up a bit um, I don't know I think it kind of looks good that glitch to look there but now let's kind of start to mess with uh, their body over here okay so what I'm thinking we can do is take that off take that off Ooh, look at that room we improved it so much um, down here we should actually mess with this cloud that look really cool so effect and saturation and that looks really cool if you are going for a different art style yellow doesn't go too good with this this way I'm trying to go for that looks like fire and that would look insane like nightmare fuel that looks like acid um, this looks purple and really really cool Ooh. but I don't know this looks more like water now that's what I am talking about so since this looks like water the sky over here I mean it is water vapor kinda so it, it's vapor and um, vapors related to water that's really cool we can add a person in a life jacket or in one of those floaties so let's get rubber ducky png in here and we're gonna make his cloud look like a pool now just get really creative with what you're doing guys and yeah uh, I'm just going for a rubber ducky why not first image why not let's go for it add this rubber ducky in here keep canvas size ooh that's a big rubber ducky we want it to be a little smaller like that that's looking nice and hey we have like a little rubber ducky we can do this and now we I guess we can have just a ton of rubber duckies like how cool is that so we have rubber duckies this guy is over here vaping he's like doing that that looks really cool and um, now we want it to match because that yellow kind of looks icky with this thing we're going for and since there's multiple colors on this rubber ducky this is gonna look really trippy but mm, why not 
Let's go for that. Ooh, looking crazy over here. Ooh, that looks good, actually. Just yellow, it being yellow. Um, maybe turn down that saturation. It's kind of getting too wild over here. A, there we go. So now we have little magneta, well, purple-looking rubber duckies. So since we got that, I don't know, guys. What should we add? Well, it looks off and uncolorful, that area over there. And we need to fix that because that's kind of looking ugly. Uh, so let's add some more color to that. Just merge this all down. Now we can select this area. So we want to change that and we want to change that looking perfect that selected very well now for I feel feel very sorry for you guys and any tips if you are taking the photos yourselves um, Say it was a self portrait You want everything so it's a lot easier for you to trim everything out You want everything to be more rounded and stuff You don't want everything to have jagged edges for example if you have crazy hair going on spiked hair you might want to like just put on a ball cap or something because that's a lot easier to trace out if you're just lazy. But I mean, if you like your mohawk or whatever you have, I mean, go with it. It's just going to take a little bit longer. So over here, we're going to go hue and saturation. This guy's over here looking like Shrek. Look at this. Um, move this over a little bit. That looks really funny. Ooh, this is going to look really trippy. Oh, not Shrek. That was like Barney. I don't know what I was thinking, but hey, green and purple. If we adjusted that, that looks crazy, guys. Um, we want that saturation to be up high. Now, I really have to see what I want here. That looks pretty good. Ooh, that looks good, too. I don't know. All right, let's go with that. Let's go with that. That's actually pretty good. So now we've got that. We got that going for us. Oh, let's just go back to where we all had that selected. All right, there we go. Now let's copy that. Go up here. Let's undo that. Ooh, this kind of looks weird going on. Um, now let's turn everything that is red so, uh oh, what did I do? All right, so everything, and let's deselect all blue. We don't want blue in this, guys. So, here, let's just select all of it. That'll be good. So, select as many red spots as you can. Uh, we don't want blue though. So, I don't know. It can guy kind of get hard I'm doing everything I can to like avoid um, trimming that out so yeah and this is kind of looking a little bit sloppy but that's kind of what I'm going for some of you guys will want it to look a little bit more neater but this is what I'm going for and this is kind of looking funny so <laughs> I mean why not uh, now what we can do is go to adjustments and hue and saturation is just your best friend so we don't want it to be any more um, saturated that's kind of looking crazy over there but see we can see the chin and arms still so that's all good um, now we want it to be purple though so or him and the wall behind them to so kind of be purple and we want it to match that that's matching so there we go guys um now all we really need to do is we can start adding some text and that's the funnest part about this uh we've got all that done it's looking crazy the guys over here has freaking i don't know just a door a window to an alternate dimension and now he has like freaking duckies where he was vaping but now it's just like a whirlpool like how crazy is that so 
what we are going to do is do this this is what I do in all my thumbnails by the way um, and it looks really cool I got the us inspired by rice gums thumbnails uh, I'm not like a cringy fan or anything but I mean I he's inspired me to make some pretty cool thumbnails like this we just go over here hue and saturation ooh that looks bad and we want to change the saturation not the hue and we want it to go right there that looks good and uh there we go so how cool is that uh what you can do now is do this add a cool little drop shadow you will need a plugin to do this so yeah object drop shadow and we want this drop shadow to be blackish maybe purple hmm that that would look good uh, we don't want any of that we want it to kind of go down a little bit we just want it to pop a little bit so pink I'm good with that that looks nice so there we go um what we could do now go over here and add some text so what I like to do that goes along with the art style is Japanese text now I like Chinese text sorry if I sound a little bit racist here but it kind of has that look you know that, that cool look Chinese simplified has not the traditional just the simplified version and it's a lot shorter so I don't know what I'm gonna use but go on to Google Translate if you want to you don't have to but go there and I'm just going to put in um, dime Ooh, let's just put in legend why not legend can stand for anything there's a guy who could be calling himself a legend I it could mean I'm a legend I don't know but that seems really cool so we're gonna put that in Japanese first just to see how it looks and I'm sorry if I'm I should be cutting this out but I kind of don't because I like talking in my videos so L M N O P your S why do I not see guys I'm having a little bit of problem here I do not see Japanese where is it oh here we go Japanese hey that looks good hey that looks really good so we're gonna be doing that this means legend my dudes ew wait what here bam we want to change the color to white we don't want that icky color no and we want it to be a little bit bigger there we go that's looking really nice we can put it right here really big because we want it to focus in on the text and people are gonna wonder what this means so under it we can put legends like in English but for the sake of this this is actually gonna look really good what I'm doing to it so put this right here maybe a little too big um, 160 will probably look good yeah it will and yeah they could just be looking at this masterpiece and look behind it they can't really focus that much on all of that in the background and what you would like to do probably is this effects now if you're trying to get a special font you probably can't go with English which I'm assuming y'all all know but yeah you're probably gonna have to get like a Japanese font or whatever and I like doing this because it's very simplified and looks cool this way like I mean it's stylish to use just in Japanese so effects you're gonna need drop shadow options drop shadow get black out here bring that all the way up that would look good too just that but what I like doing is this very easy guys uh, y'all can use this bevel objects I'm pretty sure y'all all know this sometimes takes a while depending on your PC specs mine's pretty good and it still kind of goes slow so I don't know but effects and just wait this makes the text looks glossy 
and so much better options keep moving over that bevel objects and ooh, that's a little bit too much all right that's looking nice right there Ooh, look at that guys look at that that's looking fancy check it out it's kind of a bad resolution right now because I don't know what I'm making this in ooh that's a very low resolution for you guys but hey that's what they took it in and I didn't want to stretch it out um, what you can do after doing that if you want to go a little bit overboard is add that drop show finally like another one do that make it only blur and there we go that's looking nice now that's all there is for this video really um, there's there's not much else to do I kind of want to show off this though so if you get out this some people like this I mean I sometimes use it but not really on this Japanese font it kind of doesn't look good but you want it to go directly in the middle of that copy it um, or well no you don't actually have to do that go to brightness and make it like darker kind of uh, there we go that kind of looks good there you go and yeah it looks glossy I hope y'all guys enjoyed this um, I hope this looks really cool to you guys suggest any pictures appropriate ones please suggest any on my discord just DM me it and if y'all have like a really good looking picture I mean I'll do a video on it um, I'm just liking this so far give me any ideas on Minecraft kind of ran out of ideas for that but I'm just passionate about doing you know art so yeah why not do that do videos on what I like doing so yeah hit me up with any pictures or something you want me to do and I'll definitely get back with you if I'm doing them or not now please leave a like and subscribe I don't know what the problem is but either all y'all are watching my videos like twice or no one wants to subscribe so please subscribe but also if only if you're gonna watch my stuff so yeah I kind of contradicted what I just said but please subscribe a thousand people are watching this and stuff but only like 500 have subscribed I don't know what the deal is but yeah I hope I'll see y'all guys in the next one peace